Welcome to today's language lesson. In today's lesson, we will use plural possessive nouns in writing. Let's get started. So you already know how to make a singular noun possessive. You add apostrophe S after the base word, like here where it says a skunk's bushy tail. Now let's see. Hmm. We have the goat and we have the, the horns that belong to the goat. So we could say the goat's horns. And we need to include an apostrophe there. We have one goat, a singular goat, the goat's horns. How would we write that? We would write it like this. A goat's horns which means that these horns belong to the goat. This apostrophe S tells us that the object belongs to the one who possesses it here, a goat, a goat's horns. So as you can see, we will be working with this concept, plural possessive nouns in writing. So let's go ahead and proceed here. There's a couple of rules we want to think about. There's two rules. First rule, to make a plural noun possessive, put an apostrophe after the plural noun. So we have the plural noun, the dogs. So there's not one dog, there's multiple dogs, the dogs. And they possess or they own something, something belongs to them, maybe it's the dog's yard. So there's several dogs in a yard, the dog's yard. An apostrophe will be placed after the plural noun. Here is the exception. If the plural noun is irregular and does not already end in an S, then add an S. For example, the children. Children is a plural noun, but it's irregular. So we will put the apostrophe and then the S. The children's playground, the children's classroom, the children's lemonade stand. So it would be children plus the apostrophe, then the S. So for a regular plural, noun possessive just it's the apostrophe after the s but if that plural noun is irregular put the apostrophe before the s and let me clarify it's not only if the plural noun is irregular but it's also one that does not end with an s then you put the apostrophe and the s moving on okay so let's go through some examples here here we have some guinea pigs. To make pigs possessive in the sentence, the guinea pig's biscuit is in their mouths. To make pigs possessive, just add an apostrophe since the plural noun pigs already ends in an S. Yeah, pigs, two pigs, two guinea pigs. So just put the apostrophe right after the S. If you put the apostrophe before the S, that would mean that only one, one guinea pig has a biscuit in its mouth. To make the uh, pigs possessive, again, put the apostrophe after the S. All right, moving on. Okay, so here's the mice. And the sentence here says, the mice's hole was located in the kitchen. Hmm. To make mice possessive, first add an apostrophe. Boom, right there. Then add an S. Boom, right here. Because the irregular plural noun mice does not already end in an S. So there it is. Going back to our rule, if the plural noun, like mice, or children 
is irregular and does not already end in an S, add the S after the apostrophe. Okay, let's move on. So here's the teacher's lounge. The teacher's lounge is a place where teachers eat. I like seeing the word teachers here and here. The first teachers is a plural possessive noun. It, it's showing that the teachers possess the lounge. They, the lounge is the space of the teachers. It, the, it belongs to the teachers. It's for them to use. So the teacher's lounge is where teachers eat. And this use of teachers is not possessive. It's just a regular plural noun. It's where the teachers eat. Okay, now let's go back to the information about this apostrophe here. So, to make teachers possessive, hmm, which way do we go? Well, I know that teachers is a regular plural noun, so I know to go this way. Just add an apostrophe, since the plural noun teachers already ends in an S. Cool. Moving on. Here is a woman's restroom. And it says, the women's restroom is down the hall. The women's restroom is down the hall. Hmm. Well, women is irregular. All right. So what do we need to do? It's irregular and it does not already end in an S. So to make women possessive, first add an apostrophe, then add S. Because the irregular plural noun women does not already end in an S. This looks like something right outside. Okay, the students' backpacks are hanging outside the classroom. Well, to make students possessive, that's easy. Just add an apostrophe since the plural noun students already ends in an S. Yep, there it is, students, plural noun, ends in an S. Just put the apostrophe there to show that these backpacks belong to multiple students, not just one student. That would be a lot of homework. Okay, now we're back to that word children. Let's see what we remember. Here the sentence says, the children's room has a bunk bed. To make children possessive, yep, this one right here. First add an apostrophe and then an S because the irregular plural noun children does not already end in an S. Men's watches are on sale today. Can you figure out which way it goes? Okay, to make men possessive, first add an apostrophe, then add an S because the irregular plural noun men does not already end in an S. So I think we're starting to get the hang of this. Let's try this one though. Let's read this one together. The cheerleader's uniform is black, white, and yellow. Okay, so lots of cheerleaders. It's not just one cheerleader, it's lots of cheerleaders. And cheerleaders, hmm, is it regular? Is it irregular? Cheerleaders is a regular plural noun. It's just the singular noun cheerleader, add an S, cheerleaders, it's a regular plural noun. Cool. Well, then here's the rule. To make cheerleaders possessive, just add an apostrophe since the plural noun cheerleaders already ends in an S. All right, so we have been practicing a little bit and learning a little bit about the rules of plural possessive nouns in writing. So let's now use plural possessive nouns in writing. So make sure you have something to write with. And we'll look at this picture here. Okay, so, hmm, I could ask myself this question. Whose milkshake is this? Well, clearly, since there are three straws with three of uh, girls here drinking the milkshake, it looks like they're sharing it. I know that the milkshake does not belong to just one person, belongs to, well, in this picture, three people. So I need a plural possessive noun. Well, 
this case, it would be the girl's milkshake. The plural noun girls already ends with an S. So all I need to do is put an apostrophe after the S, like this. There it is, the girl's milkshake. Okay, so let's do a little more guided practice here. All right, so here's some clothing and accessories here. And would we say that these are men's clothes or women's clothes? Hmm. I'd say these are men's clothing. So, men's clothing. Plural noun. The plural noun is men. Does men end with an S already? Nope. It does not end with an S. So I need to add an apostrophe and then the S. So let's go ahead and write it down. See if you agree with me. Men's clothing. Men's clothing. Did you write this? There it is. Men plus an apostrophe plus an S. Men is an irregular plural noun. So I had to add an apostrophe and then the S. Men's clothing. Cool. All right, next picture. Ready? This is a choir. A choir is a group of people who sing together. Is this a boy's choir or a girl's choir? This is a boy's choir. Listen to that again. This is a boy's choir. Boy's choir. So boys is a plural possessive noun again. And does it already end with the letter S? Boys. Boys. Yes, the regular plural noun boy. Put an S on it, make it plural, becomes boys. The regular plural noun boys is needing only an apostrophe after the S. We do not need to add an extra S. So there it is, a boys choir. All right, here is our next one. This is a cute one. Ready? You ready? It's going to be good. It's going to be good. There it is. Ah, oh, how cute, right? Told you. Okay. How many mice can you count in this picture? I think I see five. All right. So we'll just say the mice. And this is where they're hiding. Maybe they're hiding from another animal in the house. So whose hiding place is this? This is the mice's hiding place. Listen to that word. Mice's hiding place. What is the what is the plural possessive noun? The plural possessive noun is mice's. But is that an irregular plural noun that does not already end with an S? Yeah, it sure is. So how would you write the mice's hiding place as a where mice becomes a plural possessive? Did you write it like this? I hope so. Yes, this is a mice's hiding place. Mice plus an apostrophe plus an S. The word mice does not already end with an S, so we had to make it happen. Apostrophe S. Cool. Okay. Ready? Boom. Love this picture. Okay. Hmm. Whose stick is this? Well, I think each of those dogs would think it belongs to, to each one of them, but we'll just say that this is a stick that belongs to all three of them. They all can play with it. So this is the dog's stick. Listen to that plural possessive noun again. Dogs. Does it already does the plural noun already end with an S? Dogs? Yeah, it does. Dogs ends with an S. So what do we have to do to make the plural noun a possessive plural noun? Write it down. Did you write this? I hope so. The dog's stick. The dog's already ends with an S. Just 
just put the apostrophe after the dog's stick. That helps us know that the stick belongs to all of the dogs. If we put the apostrophe before the S, if we put it between the G and the S, that would mean that that stick belongs to only one of those dogs. But nope, we're saying it belongs to all three, so we're going to put the apostrophe after the S. Okay, next picture. All right, they're adorable. So my question to you, is this a children's or an adult's dance recital? I'm sure you figured it out. It is a children's dance recital. In this children's dance recital, we have a possessive plural noun again. Oh my gosh, again. So what is a possessive plural noun in a children's dance recital? The possessive plural noun is children's. Now we've seen this word a few times already. Children's. Does that, does the plural noun, children, already end with an S? No, it doesn't. In fact, children is an irregular plural noun that does not end with an S. So what do we have to do? Well, we got to make it end with an S, right? And then we have to think to ourselves, well, where would the apostrophe go? Well, when it's an irregular plural noun that does not already end with the letter S, we place the apostrophe before the S. There it is, a children's dance recital. Awesome. All right, next picture. Okay. See these fine gentlemen here. They're reading a book together at the table. So whose table is this? Hmm, these, you have these two boys or students. You could think of it as maybe the boys' table or the students' table. How would you write either one of those? Boys' table or students' table? Well, boys is a regular plural noun. It's regular. It comes from the singular noun boy. Add the S. Boys. That makes it plural. So what do we do with regular plural nouns? We just put an apostrophe after the S. But what about students? What does students come from? What's the singular of students? The singular of students is student. So the plural is students. Aha, it already has an S. So how do we say that this table belongs to all of the students, including these two students? We would say it's the students table. There it is. Okay, next. All right, we'll make this one our last one. Let's look at this playground. Okay. Now, do you think that this is the primary student's playground or the upper grade student's playground? Hmm. Hmm. Well, these look like some little friends of ours. It's probably here. It probably is the primary student's playground. What is our possessive plural noun when we say the primary student's playground. Well, again, it's students, students. When we just talked about students, how would we show students playground where students is possessive? Well, we would write it like this. There it is, the primary student's playground, the primary student's playground where the apostrophe follows the S. So going all the way back, this was our goal today. We learned to use plural possessive nouns in writing. And we know these two rules. We know the basic rule where to make a plural noun possessive, put an apostrophe after the plural noun. And the exception is if the plural noun is irregular and does not already end in an S, 
then put the apostrophe followed by an S.